Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and I am back for a VGC 2020 laddering session on Pokemon Showdown. Now, the reason I'm not doing this on the Switch is because I intended to mass record with the team that I spent hours. I spent like a full day trying to get it on the Switch um, and I got it in. I got, I got the team on the Switch cartridge, but the battle spot servers were down, so I literally couldn't ladder. And it was heartbreaking. They've been down for a little bit. They're trying to fix it. They said, give it a couple of days. So I am pre-recording footage for my vacation on Pokemon Showdown for the time being. If I somehow find a way to record <laughs> on the Switch, then I will. But I doubt it because I have like a day to do that. Um, also, if you guys are new to the channel, if you're trying to get into VGC, I assume you found this video because of that. I am a competitive VGC player and I... Made this channel just teach people about VGC, and uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite games. I love to share it with people, and if you're interested in that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content about it. But with that, uh, let's get into it. So this is the team that I made in the team builder video that was posted a few days ago. You guys can see the link to that up wherever. Uh, but yeah, also, excuse me for the poor quality lighting and the bad webcam. I'm working off my laptop right now because I'm back home for the day before my vacation uh or the two days before my vacation but yeah so the team we're using today is a rain offense team featuring life orb dreadnought uh now dreadnought is just the definition of a swift swim sweeper it's got 115 base attack which you know that isn't all that impressive but it's also got uh the rock typing which means that we have stab rock slide which is really fast it's comparable to kabutops in a way except i believe that this pokemon is a little bit bulkier uh with 90 hp and uh 90 defense and 68 special defense um actually i think it's faster than kabutops too let me check that really quick i'm, I'm curious kabutops isn't in this dex so it's not like it matters no we're slower than kabutops but we are bulkier because we have more um overall hp and slightly lower special defense yeah life orb dreadnought with swift swim liquidation rock slide protect superpower pelipper with focus ash drizzle scald Protect Hurricane Tailwind, Rotom Heat, Citrus Berry, Overheat, Thunder, Protect Will-O-Wisp, and a very bulky set. Ferrothorn, especially defensive, Power Whip, Gyro Ball, Leech Seed, Protect, Scrafty with the Assault Vest, Intimidate, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Crunch, and Choice Specs, Dragapult with uh, Shadow Ball, Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, and Thunderbolt in a Modest Nature with Max Speed, Max Special Attack, and 4 HP. If you guys want to use this team, the paste will be in the uh, description down below and if i can get the actual team onto uh the rental team servers or whatever they're called then i will also put that in the uh, description down below but yeah let's go ahead and get into it i played a couple of practice games with this and i feel a little bit more comfortable so let's grab a game let's grab a game something that annoyed me about the battle spot servers going down or i guess it's called battle stadium now uh, is that it made it so i would just keep getting disconnected and it really annoyed me because now I have like three wins and nine losses because of all the disconnects I ended up getting. So let, let's, you know, that's, that's, that's in the past. Uh, I've practiced a little bit, so I'm not completely terrible at calling Dynamax plays. So let's get into it. Uh, we see a rain offense team featuring Barrascuta and Kaparaja. I actually need to look at Kaparaja before I make an educated guess as to how I should play around him because the format has just begun. It's new to everyone, but, um, you know, if you played VGC for a little bit, you can tell which direction it's probably going to go. Oh my god, this thing is... Ooh! I'm calling it right now. The thing's probably Assault Vest. It's got sheer force, too. Wow, okay. Uh, kind of scared of that thing, to be honest. It's got 80 special attack. Okay. Um... Dreadnought probably cannot KO it with uh, Superpower. Because of that insane uh, insane HP stat. I can calc it, actually. How much time do I have? I have two minutes to pick my team, so I need to do this really quick. Let's calc for Dreadnought. By the way, the links to everything I use in this video will be in the description down below, uh, including this damage calculator. This is probably the best damage calculator you could hope to ask for in VGC at the moment. Superpower, Life Orb. On a life orb. Let's look at Kaparaja. I mean, it has a chance to KO right now, but let's say he's max defense. 
I doubt he's max defense. He's definitely offensive, but um, actually, no, we got a pretty decent chance to KO. I'm pretty sure he's either max defense, max attack, or max HP, max attack. And in both situations, we have a nice chance to KO. So I'm actually fine with uh, with with uh, Dreadnought, super power play on it. Uh, what I'm scared about is you right there, Mr. Bear Scuda. Uh, it looks like Ferrothorn's going to be amazing uh, versus this team. And I'm thinking I want to lead off... Well, not Ferrothorn in the lead, maybe. Because I think they might want to lead Arcanine. Uh, I could go Pelipper Ferrothorn, actually. That's not a bad play at all. Scrafty in the back for Intimidate against all these boys. And either Rotom or Dreadnought is my play. I really don't want to bring Dragapult because that thing could be Scarf. That thing just completely destroys Dragapult. Infiltrator, I don't believe, bypasses uh, Mimikyu's Disguise. Otherwise, it would have been used a bit more. Uh, so the call here, Rotom or Dreadnought, is really tough. It's really tough. I feel like Dreadnought's safer, though, because it can take a hit from Barrascuta a bit better. So we see the Pelipper Arcanine lead. And I'm actually pretty okay with this. Um, I have Focus Sash, so if he goes for Wild Charge, I don't really lose anything. He's probably going to be going for Trick Room with his Mimikyu, so I'm fine with this. I'll go ahead and go for the Scald right here, and I'll switch in my Scrafty uh, to take this hit. He doesn't have anything that wants to switch into it, except for his own Pelipper. And at the very least, what I get from this play is uh, stopping his Pelipper from getting a... Uh, or stopping his Pelipper from keeping its Focus Sash. And... Uh, yeah, and if, even if it doesn't Trick Room, it's probably going to go for an attack into my Pelipper, and because Pelipper has some pretty decent physical defense, uh, I'll be able to take it all right after the Intimidate. And I am expecting a Flare Blitz into my Scrafty slot, which shouldn't do much. And the max speed really comes in handy here. The Berry is a little annoying. Berry is a little annoying, not going to lie. There's the max Flare. And out comes the Sun. But something to note is I am faster than both of these Pokemon, so I can just uh, Dynamax here and go for Max Geyser. As well as a... Uh, I probably want to go back into my Ferrothorn, to be honest. Or not Ferrothorn, but I could go into Dreadnought. I think that's my play. I think I go... Actually, you know what? You know what I think I do? I kind of want to go for like a play where I Max Guard this turn, Max Geyser my final turn. And Dreadnought comes in for free, but I'm a little scared of that play. I think I just Max Geyser here. Or I could Max Guard. He, he's probably going to want to attack Pelipper. I can get Ferrothorn in for free. Maybe not. Does he have Wild Charge? This is what's so crazy about early format. You have no idea what, what anything's running. My safest play is Max Geyser. That, that's just that's just a fact. Um, I can't stay on on this thing, so I'll switch in Ferrothorn, hopefully catching a Play Rough. Um, I doubt he doubles into Scrafty here when Play Rough is such a free move. It's so free to play rough. And even if he, you know, does go for um, the fire type move into Ferrothorn, I should be able to take it because we are... Uh, oh, no, Max Lightning. Cool. Uh, I can get Dreadnought in for free right now. And I am faster than this Arcanine, so I can go for a Rock Slide right here, get the KO with my Life Orb, and get that Gyro Ball KO on Mimikyu um, since Focus Sash... Uh, isn't really a viable item for Mimikyu anymore since its ability makes Focus Sash completely pointless. Uh, it's really only good for beating Excadrill, really. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Uh, the reason is uh, Mimikyu's Disguise no longer is a complete immunity. Uh, you take 1 8th HP damage uh, after your Disguise breaks. So it just breaks Focus Sashes. As long as I land this Rock Slide on both, I'm confident I should be able to get a double KO here. Max Guard, I don't really mind that. As long as the Mimikyu goes down, I'm okay. Because I am faster than that Arcanine. You could go for the Trick Room. No, just the Shadow Claw. I, I don't really agree with that play, to be honest. Because I do have my Rain up still. Um, yeah, alright, cool. What comes out? Like, literally, it's just... Nothing wants this. Nothing wants this fire, dude. Nothing wants it. Um, if he does go into... Oh, no, it's Kaparaja. Cool. I can probably beat this with superpower but i'm scared to i am scared to i almost want to go into scrafty right here i'm scared of earthquake and i really need you to win because you beat barrascuta 1v1 i believe after an intimidate um what's his last pokemon though what is his last pokemon i i don't think arcanine stays in i really don't let me do this. I'm going to go for the superpower, and I'm going to hard switch in my, my Scrafty for an Intimidate. Nice. 
Eject pack. Okay, cool. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. So, um... I'm not sure if that was a read or not. It was actually... Ooh. Alright, no. Maybe I, I, I probably just put a huge hole in his plans there. <laughs> probably just really tore open his plans. Um, Dreadnought's still the fastest thing in the field. Kaparaja might be Assault Vest. I'm willing to bank on Assault Vest right now because... Scrafty, I don't believe Hydreigon gets any fairy moves this gen. I, I'm not 100% sure. I know Hydreigon like, doesn't get fairy moves usually, but we have to be careful. This is a new gen. It does not. I should be safe. Uh, he probably doesn't have a, um, a flying type move. So my safest play right here is super power into Kaparaja and go hard into Ferrothorn. Because either way I win. All right, that should be game. So I can go for the fake out right here. I can go for my leech seed. Uh, I'm going for leech seed right now just in case he, you know, somehow manages to knock out one of these Pokemon. No? Yeah, that's whatever. I'll go for Drain Punch now and I'll just go for Gyro Ball. <laughs> I think these two should knock it out. Or actually, no, I should protect every time. I protect you every time in case he actually has Flamethrower. It would make sense. He revealed Dragon Pulse. Um, so... And, he, and he, re he revealed Protect, so he's not Scarf, and he also showed Jack Pack, so I should have known that earlier. <laughs> his last move is probably going to be Draco Meteor. Uh, he's either Dark Pulse or Flamethrower for his final move. Because he's definitely not going to be running, like, a Jack Pack just for Intimidate. That would make no sense. You should definitely have Draco Meteor for that really powerful U-turn, pretty much. You know? It would make no sense not to have Draco Meteor as one of your moves. There's the Dark Pulse. And it looks like I just win regardless here, because Gyro Ball will KO from this range. Good game. Yeah, I'm getting better at playing with, with uh, Dynamax. I, I was really bad in my first couple of uh, practice games, but I I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it now. I don't really see an out for him. Something to note is, uh, I think this is like one of the longest timers we've ever had for making a move in this format. So, yeah, like, it's weird. Like, we have, like, 60 seconds to make moves when before it was, like, 30 or 20 or something. I think it was 30. 30 was, like, last season. So that's cool. Uh, we end up getting the first win of this session with, uh... I, I feel like... No, no, Dreadnought definitely put in some huge work right there. Dreadnought definitely put in some huge work. This is an interesting team. Uh, it really has no rhyme or reason weather-wise. In fact, it looks like it's pretty strictly anti-weather, considering how bulky Mandibuzz is and uh, the fact that we have uh, a Lightning Rod user and a Storm Drain user, uh, as well as a Flash Fire user if they you know, decide to go that way. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Clear Body, though, on that Pokemon. This one, might be, um, this one might be Infiltrator, but I'm not sure. I don't really want to bring Dragapult to this game, I think, because it gets walled by... Uh, Gastrodon, Mandibuzz, Hitmontop, and... Well, not so much Hitmontop. And uh, this thing is most likely faster since I'm running Modest. So I feel like they're going to lead off with Hitmontop or Togedemaru along with uh, their Tailwind Setter, which is going to be that Mandibuzz. So my best counterplay for that is probably going to be leading off... Um, Actually, you know, I could actually just Gigantamax... Or not Gigantamax. I could actually Dynamax turn one and completely ignore the fake out that's another option or i could lead with counter fake out let me think here what is my best play uh i think i want to lead up with my own fake out user scrafty is definitely the play for this game there are so many things that it's able to come in on safely especially with that assault vest we have on it barathorn i don't feel as safe about since he has a fighting type and a fire type um, Dreadnought looks really, really nice, to be honest. If it weren't for you, it'd be great. But Ferrothorn, I think Ferrothorn's just a necessary evil here. Um, geez, I think I just go Scrafty Pelipper or Scrafty Ferrothorn. I feel like Scrafty Ferrothorn is not safe. Um, we'll go Scrafty Pelipper in case this guy decides to lead off. But the last two Pokemon, definitely Dreadnought. Dragapult's iffy. Dragapult's really iffy. Rotom is just as iffy because we got that Lightning Rod user and uh, Gastron right there. Ferrothorn is less iffy. I think I want to bring Ferrothorn. 
I, I like my last Pokemon, there was no good choice in my opinion. All right, cool. So, I think my play here is, he's definitely gonna wanna fake out my Pelipper. It's definitely his play here and go for an electric type move. Or maybe not, he might be Dragon Dance. Um, but I could try this, check this out. I'm gonna max Knuckle into that Hitmontop, boosting Dragapult's, uh, boosting Dragapult's attack. Not Dragapult, Dreadnought's attack. I'm just going to completely ignore the <laughs> the possibility of uh, faking out his Hitmontop. I don't want to even mess with that. I want to boost Dreadnought's attack, and I want to go for that Rock Slide. Or I can go for the Liquidation straight into Hitmontop. It depends. It depends, really. Hitmontop is really scary in this game, but um, I want to go for that, because I'm definitely about to get faked out. There it is. Dragon Pulse. Oh, Dragon Darts. Okay. There's my Max Knuckle. I get my attack boost. I'm really scary versus uh dragapult here but the issue is he now has a free switch because of that eject button i don't know why people run eject button him on top personally i feel like assault vest is the best set you could ask for but um he's definitely going to switch out dragapult here for him on top it makes no sense to stay in versus scrafty so i could bring in my ferrothorn pretty safely and go for just another max knuckle into gastronon oh he stays in no, no, he went out. Okay. I forgot I was faster. There's the earth power. It's not really going to do much. And I think my final play is probably just going to be to max knuckle one more time into that Gastrodon. But I could max knuckle the Hitmontop because I really don't like it. And we already did a decent chunk at minus one. But Gastrodon's just so annoying for... Uh... Let me think about this. He has nothing... Has, I, I should get rid of him on top. Him on top is definitely my, my number one priority, to be honest. Because Ferrothorn just just rips apart his team afterwards. We'll go for the Protect. Oh, he forgot. I cannot be flinched, my good sir. My good sir, you have been nanade. Oh, please don't burn. Cool. Now, um... Crap, I, I shouldn't have protected that last turn. It made no sense, did it? No, it made sense, because he had no reason not to... He had no reason to fake out, really. Um, Crunch would KO Hitmontop from this range, so I think I want to go for it, but Hitmontop is faster than Scrafty and has the potential to KO. So that is still scary. I don't know if he KOs Ferrothorn from this range. I really don't. And I kind of want to keep both of these guys around. I'll bring in Pelipper. Let me calc it. Ferrothorn. Hit him on top. Hit him on top should not... Oh, wait, that's... That's with no defense investment. So I should live it. I should live it regardless. I should be fine. Um, So, yeah. My play here is bring in Pelipper and go for a Gyro Ball onto the Hit on top for free. All right, he brought in Dragapult. That's an interesting play, my sir. <laughs> my sir, my good sir. Uh, we are going to be getting off a plus one Gyro Ball into this Dragapult. That's just a KO. That's just a KO. That's so nice. And Pelipper is on the field again. I have Rain as long as I want. Um, he hasn't he hasn't Gigantamax, though, or Dynamaxed. So that's something to note. In comes Centiscorch. So that's definitely going to be his Dynamax Pokemon, but I should be faster than it. I'm going to go for this Hurricane. Or I could just go for the Tailwind, too, and Nene on him with Rock Sled. I think now is when I go for Tailwind. And I... What am I saying? I just Hurricane. I Hurricane. Nothing's safe. There's no safe switch into Hurricane. And I can Protect. Get nae -nade. Oh, he got confused. Max Flare. In the rain, doing nothing. Even with... Oh my god, he got the crit. He got the crit. I'm scared. Mom. All the police. Uh, I Tailwind here, and I always bring in Dreadnought. Always bring in Dreadnought and Tailwind. I'm, re I'm really happy I got that... <laughs> I got that uh, confusion off, but uh, I don't think it's going to make a difference. The chance for him to hit himself is so low. 
Um, but if I get this Tailwind out, I think I win regardless, as long as I can keep my dude alive. Hit himself in confusion. He's probably a little bit salty about that. Let me go ahead and bring in my boy Scrafty. This handy dandy rock slide. Because Pelipper is my win con versus Scent of Scorch since I'm faster. I might get a flinch here, which is really nice. I wasn't expecting to get the attack drop. I just wanted to go for the rock slide. Especially since him on top does not take it. Earth power. I always bring in Pelipper here. We're going to trade fake outs, but uh, I think I just win if I switch out here. I go for fake out into him on top, right? I think I always double into him on top. Or I can bring in Ferrothorn. Let's do it. If he fakes out into my Pelipper, he dies. But I, I am faster than him. So I think I just win with my... Uh, I think I win with Pelipper now. Since Senta Scorches his last Pokemon. But I can also just crunch it. Actually, how fast are you? How fast are you, Senior Scorch? Um, not that fast, I don't think. Let me just crunch you and go for Protect. Fine, I do the same thing. Again. I crunch you. I bring in Pelipper, though. Getting really lucky not getting burnt this, uh, this session. <laughs> All right, yeah, this crunch will KO, so I just went with Ferrothorn now. I think that's a good game. Go for the Drain Punch for some recovery there, and I just want a quick Power Whip. Good game. Nice. Okay, let's get one more for this session. There are a lot of people on the ladder right now, probably because there's, like, no one playing on the Switch, because you can't, which is... Which is a shame. Like, let's be real. I'm so annoyed about that. Alright. Let's get this bread. We're facing Sand. Sand is one of my worst matchups. Even though I technically should have the advantage, it's it's a scary matchup nonetheless. Uh, I always lead off Scrafty. And Rotom, I think. Scrafty Rotom doesn't seem bad at all. Lightning Rod is a little annoying, but I can always just overheat and do it, so... Pokemon is a non-issue. Ferrothorn is really, really good late game, as long as this thing doesn't have Heat Wave and I can deal with Arcanine effectively. But I think I should bring uh, Dreadnought and Pelipper. Hold up. Hold up. Let me, uh... I don't know how to spell Nene. There we go. Since this entire team is just nay naying <laughs> If that's even, a, if that is even like a way to say it. Um, I feel like every time here, uh, he should expect the fake out into Excadrill. So I am just going to not, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to not. He can't KO me unless he's Mold Breaker, which he is not. He's Sand Rush, so I can go for, um... think. He should be faking out Rotom. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp into Excadrill here, uh, and the Drain Punch into the Togunamaru. Or I could just overheat, but I feel like Will-O-Wisp is smarter. Nice, we get him down to Sash. Let me max knuckle this dude. And... Is this the smart play? Is this the smart play? I, I might just overheat, to be honest. He already revealed his Focus Sash user. I'm just going to overheat. He's not switching out. This guy's not switching out. I'm doubling into this thing. Best case scenario, I get the KO. Worst case scenario, Togunomaru does, you know? Or not Togunomaru. Um, best case scenario, I get the KO on Excadrill and Togunomaru dies. Worst case scenario, I die with everything. Um, but I'm thinking Drain Punch or Max Knuckle into Overheat should do it. Ah, that crit's so annoying. That crit, that might make a difference here. Ah, no, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I might need to end my Scrafty's 
uh, max almost immediately though, so I can keep this, <laughs> so I can keep this um, effect going. The rock slide's so free on his side, it's so so free. But I can switch in my dreadnought right here and go for a protect. That way I have another uh, intimidate user. There's the extreme speed. Ooh, masterful play. I don't know how fast you are, sir, but I do not like it. Let me do this. I'm going to bring in my Scrafty here for the Intimidate and go for that Will-O-Wisp. Because after this, I can just bring in my... Um... Nice. I can bring in Pelipper and just win, I think. Oh, no, I do this. I think I do this. Um, you have close combat? I should really scout for that. I think I just let Rotom go down here. I don't really need it for anything else. Togedomaru's in the back, but I should be able to deal with him. I really can't afford to, can I? Do I just attack immediately, or do I wait for the rain? I think I attack immediately. And go for Arcanine. No, I go for Tyranitar every time. Does he have Protect? He hasn't revealed it. Helping Hand. Rock Slide. Don't you flinch me, sir. Alright, well, you're not getting two of those. I'm about to drop Rock Slides on you. Or do I? Or do I just Liquidate? I'm scared of Arcanine more than anything right now. I think I just liquidate Arcanine and go for Protect. Yeah, that's the play. Because I'm living this Rock Slide right here. I can bring in Rotom. He misses too, which is really, really nice. Uh, I can Protect you. Rotom comes in and dies. I can just rock sled, I think. No, I should always liquidate into you, don't I? Um, I'm legitimately scared that he has protecting this Tyranitar and he's just refusing to show it. But there's no downside here to overheating and liquidating. Nah, I just win. Good game, dude. Nice. Alright, yeah, I was really scared, but it looks like it was like a salt vest. No, not a salt vest. Um, it was focus Ash Togedemaru without spiky shield. Or maybe you just op opted not to go for the spiky shield. Who knows? But if you guys enjoyed the session at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Let's try to get me to 6k by, I don't know, the end of December, if I can try. Uh, it might happen sooner. Who knows? But I really want to put out as much VGC content as I can for you guys because I appreciate all the support. Be sure to check out all my links in the description down below. I have a Discord. I have a Twitch. I have a Twitter. All those are in the description. And yeah. With that, I'm going to call guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.